Hey guys, Mike from CoachMikeMcDonald.com here. And do you ever struggle with what you should be doing on a daily basis? Or maybe you're brand new in your business and you don't know what an effective daily method of operation is. Well, in today's video, I'm going to cover some different tips and mindset you want to have to have a successful daily method of operation. So one thing to really keep in mind is that you need to be consistent. A lot of people get started in a home business or network marketing or a new venture and they think that it's just going to be overnight success and I wish I could tell you that's the case but that's just really not how things work. It builds and progresses over time and you need to be consistent with it where your habits are going to either make you or break you. So if you don't have the right habits in place, you're not consistent, you're really going to start struggling in your business. So one thing that you really want to start focusing on right away is your mindset. And a lot of people maybe think that that doesn't matter and it couldn't be further from the truth, right? A lot of people want to know like the how to's, how do they prospect, how do they recruit, how do they start generating leads? And you'll certainly learn that and you'll get to that. But starting off, one of the main reasons you're not succeeding is you don't have the right mindset while you're building your business. And so, you know, one of my mentors, Jim Rohn, always talked about your business is only going to grow to the point that you do. So that should be a primary focus. Now, again, you don't obviously spend all day long working on your mindset, reading books. You got to take action alongside of that. But at the same time, you want to start out every day with that good foundation, whether that's reading 10 pages a day, le listening to 15 minutes of an audio, going through a wake up call or a webinar training, something that's gonna start to empower you. You're gonna start to learn that leadership mindset, working on your skill set, getting your you mentally in the right place. Because one thing to really understand is that if you don't believe that you can succeed, if you don't believe that you can get success, you're not going to, right? You're not gonna take the action steps necessary to win. You're not gonna get results. So that should really be a foundation that you should focus on. Now, again, one thing when it comes to habits is you wanna figure out what are your income producing activities? What are the main things you should be focusing on in your business? So a lot of people, it's going to be prospecting, recruiting, making new contacts, building your business. So there's really three keys, right? It's building your audience, engaging your audience, and selling to your audience. So if your daily method of operation doesn't contain those, it might not be something worth doing, right? Or at the same time, those should be your income producing activities, right? So if it's building your audience, building who you can talk to, building your list, engaging with them, whether that's content, actually having a phone call, messaging them, and then selling them, whether that's them seeing an email to buy an offer, you know, uh, you're calling them to set up a presentation, they're going through a webinar, whatever the case might be, that's really what you wanna focus on. So again, building your audience, engaging your audience, and then selling to your audience. Now, another thing that you really wanna do and keep in mind is there's gonna be good times of the day to focus on all of those, right? So you're gonna have basically peak income producing activity hours. So whether that be you work a full-time job in the day and again, at night, maybe from like seven to 10, you have that opening where you can be talking to people, sharing your business, reaching out to people and actively prospecting and talking to people, that's a great time to do it. What I find a lot of people make the mistake of is they take their activities, right, of personal development or things that aren't income producing, like organizing their lists, cleaning their office, right, whatever the case might be, they do those activities during prime time when it's the most productive time for them to get results and start reaching out to people. But instead of doing that income producing activity of reaching out to people, instead, they're way too focused on the things that don't matter, right? So if you're gonna be doing stuff like making content, reading, personal development, do those in off time. So whether that's early in the morning, right before you go to bed, late at night when you can't be actually talking to people and calling them and doing presentations, right? Those are the times you wanna be creating that content and working on it. So again, you know, you wanna be building that content. That's how you're gonna engage your audience. So especially if you're part-time or don't have a lot of time in your business, make sure that you can do something that's consistent, 
right? A lot of people go on like a blitz, which is fine. Definitely do that. You know, maybe they make a video a day or consistent content every other day, and that's great, but you want to not fall into the trap of trying to do too much too fast and then burning out and then doing nothing, right? So whether that's reaching out to people, right? Sending messages, prospecting, you know, some people are like, oh, I'm going to send 30 messages a day and I'm going to crush it, right? And they do that for one day. And then day two, it's 15 messages. Day three, it's four messages, you know, four and five and six, there's no messages going out, right? So again, you got to be consistent. So start small and build up so you can develop that habit and it becomes natural for you. So maybe that's starting off with three to five messages a day or five to 10 messages a day, right? Something that's consistent that you can do and stick to it. And then from there, as you get the hang of it, as it becomes a habit, start to increase those numbers to be able to reach out to more people and get better results. So again, what you wanna be focused on is those income producing activities. So building your audience. So what does that mean? Well, that should be connecting with people that are in your target market. So if you're in nutrition or weight loss, maybe that's going into health and fitness groups, adding friends, following people, starting conversations, liking posts, making connections, right? You wanna connect with at least 10 people a day in that target market, whatever the space might be. So if you are you know, in real estate, that's probably like first time home buyers. There's a lot of groups out there for that. Um, people that are new to a home, right? Um, people that have home improvement questions, different things like that. So reaching out to at least 10 people a day in that field, like I said, the nutrition and weight loss category, you're fitting in in different groups like that. If you're in like the home business industry, network marketing, you wanna be connecting with other people in that space, in that niche. So that could be home business groups, network marketing groups, uh, work at home groups, different things like that on Facebook, on Instagram, different things where you can connect with at least 10 people a day. So you're starting to build that audience. And then ideally, you wanna have some sort of list set up. So if that's an email marketing list, uh, a messenger list, whatever the case might be, you wanna grow that list because the, the money's in the list if you haven't heard that before, right? So most companies, most businesses, they talk about starting with people that you know, your warm market, friends and family, acquaintances. Again, that's a great place to start. And again, a lot of you have a list of those people, right? But you constantly want to be growing and building that list and building that audience of connections with people that could be your ideal target market, your ideal customer, your ideal business partner, whatever the case may be. So focus on at least 10 a day, 10 connections a day to build that audience and then start figuring out stuff where you can engage your audience. So that's creating value based content. Now, again, you might just be given a couple tips here and there. You can do a quick video, three, four, five minutes long, whatever the case is, you have value that you can put out in the marketplace. You're an expert at something. You have success in some area. You know, talk about what you're learning, share value. That's going to start to engage that audience and then figure out ways to sell to that audience. So again, whether that's setting up a, a meeting to see your company presentation, getting them in front of a, a business presentation video, meeting them for coffee, doing a screen share, having them attend a webinar, right? There's all kinds of options you can do to have people to see what your business is all about and sell them on your ideas, your products, your services, help them get started, see if they're a fit. So the, again, those are the three things you wanna focus on is building that audience, engaging that audience, and selling that audience. And again, getting into conversations, making co connections, seeing if there's something that you can help them with. And then from there, transitioning them to seeing your business, your products, your service, whatever the case might be. So again, effective daily method of operation you should be following, should be personal development, focusing on those three key areas, your income producing activities, and then making sure that those income producing activities are in that window that's the best time to do it and your non-income producing activities can be more so in the off times that don't interfere with your direct attack of you know sharing your business talking to people building that engaging and selling so again 
Hopefully you guys got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And then if you are in a home business or network marketing, be sure to head on over to coachmikemcdonald.com and fill out the information there. I have a free webinar training on inviting mastery where I go through the ins and outs of prospecting and recruiting, exactly how you can take your business to the next level, get great results, whether you're shy, introverted, maybe you're brand new in your business, it doesn't really matter. You're gonna learn the right scripts, the right skill set, the mindset to prospect and recruit and become a top earner in your business. So again, to get access to that, head on over to coachmikemcdonald.com fill out the form over there to get that webinar. But thanks again for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.